Okay, hello everybody and welcome back. We are carrying on where we left off, which is mostly sitting around and not doing much. Uh, annexing our vassals, expanding slowly, taking it easy. Uh, I think we probably will form the German nation, maybe. Um, well, maybe we won't because we do need Brandenburg to do it. Ah, well. Do we need anything else from Brandenburg? Brunswick, Anhalt, Saxony, Leipzig, Tübingen, Nuremberg. We probably could do it apart from Brandenburg. We can leave Brandenburg right till the very end. And that would be fine. It's tempting, then. That is a tempting thing to do. So we might end up doing it. Um, other than that, we don't really have much direction or plans for this series. We're just kind of being excellent traders, uh, being a strong northern German powerhouse, really. Possibly going and eating Denmark at some point. I don't really want to fight Denmark while they've still got Sweden on their side. Pomerania no longer considers me a rival. I get the feeling that shortly Pomerania won't be a valid rival for me. Yep. Who is a valid rival for me then? Brandenburg. No. Brandenburg's my buddy. I want to see them get Danzig and. Oh no. Gdansk. Poland have it. Oh, I have a cardinal. Nice. Uh, let's put 10 influence into the Curia. I feel like now I've got a. a Cardinal, I should actually invest in the Cardinal game. Um, right, we need to stop embargoing these guys then. That's fine. Does that mean we don't get the... No, we've still got humiliated Pomerania. We just... We're losing lots of other things. Uh, let's improve relations with Poland just to keep them happy. Oldenburg will be done later this year, which will reduce our diplomatic relationship slots. That's fine. I wish Lunenburg would fabricate some claims, but he's not gonna. Lunenburg, let me click. There we are. Oh my god, this keeps happening. Unhappiness amongst the merchants. Hmm, I wonder if these guys would vassalize. Brunswick would. Uh, what about you? You wouldn't. But Brunswick would. Okay, tell you what. Let's start improving relations with Brunswick. We can just kind of like slowly vassalize our way through the HRE. That would be amazing. Maybe we should take influence ideas as our next idea group. We're actually coming up on admin tech that we're going to have to take pretty much. <laughs> I'm not sure that we can get Brunswick's opinion high enough. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, perfect. Gain 25 admin power. Improve relations with Brunswick. That's what I'm doing already, so we might as well take it. And our force limits. Yeah, we've gone massively over the force limits. Let's delete these. We should be able to maintain what we've got left. Yeah, it will cost us a little bit for being over force limit, but not much. And now we can suddenly build temples. Temple, 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 temple. That gets rid of some of our admin power problems and reduce autonomy in all of these provinces. You. Wonderful. Now, everybody's going to like us less for that. An extra member. Minus 25. But we'll deal with it. And our maximum manpower is now 15,700. Wonderful. Uh, is that... The Palatinate is now the HRE leader. Which means Austria is now free to join us in wars if they want. 
Good stuff. Okay, let's improve relations with... Are you sure you don't want to vassalize? Yeah, you won't because you're a thing. You would, though, if we can get relations up with you. Uh, which is going to take some doing because we took your land and now we have your land. So that's not going to happen. Teton's not doing too well for themselves. Sweden, come on, man. Come on, Sweden. loyal attitude they have. It's terrible. It's terrible. Can we build some more boats? Boats, boats, boats. We can build some more boats. Let's build three more boats. One, two, three more boats. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a temple, a temple, a template called three boats. And it's going to be three boats in three provinces. Done. There we are. Okay. Just makes life slightly easier that way. Okay. Military access from Gilray. Sure thing. What's going on here? Pomerania, Riga, Anhalt, and Galray. Uh, come back from Brunswick then. Okay, so they really don't like me right now. Aggressive expansion, declared war, was at war, once your provinces, annexed a member of the Holy Roman Empire, Cassus Belli. Okay, so let's not do this mission then. Let's improve relations with various neighbours. Let's improve relations with Pomerania now that they're not our rival anymore. <coughs> so keep out coalition town, basically. And once these temples are done, I'll probably do constables to keep this admin power down a bit. How are we doing on inflation? It is going down. We might actually reduce it manually if we get to a point where we are maxed up on admin points and still ahead of time on tech. We'll probably just reduce our inflation instead. Constables aren't going to get us a huge amount of money back, but hey, whatever. They lead to other things later as well, so we might as well build them now. Loss of prestige, what do we care? Burgundy is at war with Denmark. Burgundy is at war with Muscovy. Attacker against Muscovy in the Livonian purge of Scovian heresy. So, Livonia is attacking Skov. And Pskov is Muscovy's vassal. What were you thinking? <laughs> Just no. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. Well, sure, whatever. You do whatever you want. And we are still ahead enough on time that I feel quite happy getting goods produced up. I might even go as far as getting caravan power up and another merchant before taking up our next military, but I probably won't. Let's take it easy. There you are, get some brownie points with Lunenburg. Defended our territory, plus 10. England, French reconquest of Laborde against France and all these French things. <sighs> the problem is, France will very quickly take the board, but they have no navy. So their military will have nowhere to go except up to me, and Burgundy will probably give them access. 
Burgundy might give them access. I mean, Burgundy hates France. That's a given. Yeah, they're rivals. They hate each other, minus 200. They both want all of each other's provinces. <laughs> That's hilarious. But they'll probably be able to get access. They'll come and siege us, and we'll be fucked. And England won't do a damn thing about it. They'll probably also come and destroy our fleet. <sighs> France is allied with Tuscany. Sure, like that matters. Or we could be a good ally. Let's be a good ally. Come on. Let's at least improve our army maintenance in case we can fight off any French armies that come up this way. Let's get... Let's turn our ruler into a leader. It's 2-1. Better than not having a leader. France is tech 6, which is the same tech as us, I believe. So they don't have a massive advantage. has 46, uh, about 58, 60,000 people on his side. We have actually technically, oh no, sorry, this is our side. France has 48, 60, 69, more like 70,000 on their side. We've got 60,000 on our side. However, only 20,000 of that is actually going to engage because I'm the only person who's relevant in this war. I'm the only person who France is actually going to be able to get access to. I'm not giving access to anyone right now. Ugh, I have to because I get relations hits otherwise. Everybody I have access with gives France access. As long as I don't have access to Burgundy, that should be fine. Good. Oh wait, I can give other people access though. So what are the chances that France is going to walk up through Burgundy and just annihilate us? France has military access in Ferrara and Savoy. Savoy. That's fine. Denmark's involving us again. If they do come up, they're going to have to come around Burgundy at the very least. Let's retreat to Hamburg. Let's see what happens, I guess. Uh, not Hamburg, Lubeck, sorry. Papacy. So let's end the sound toll. Skein and Skane and Sheeland. We're not going to get any better missions ever, so might as well take that as our mission. Does it give us claims? It doesn't give us claims. And in fact, we have to actually, that's their capital, so blur. <sighs> Sweden. I wish you weren't loyal. France annexed one of their vassals. That's fine. What we could do is try transporting our entire army over to England. <laughs> and then just doing what England does and ignore the war. That's actually very tempting. It's very, very tempting to just run away. No, we'll be fine. If it comes to it, we can run away anyway. We should be okay. Kiev have got independence. Well done, Kiev. Wow, the Ottomans have got really far really quickly. They ate most of Hungary. That's not normal. Well, Bosnia managed to win the Bosnian-Serbian War.
Mm, we might be okay. We might be okay here. England is not doing much with its troops. Oh, France is landing in England. France is actually concentrating on going to war with England. That's fine. Yeah, you do that, France. You just you just go up there and uh, fight England and ignore me. Leave me alone. That's fine. That's cool. I'm happy with that, to be honest. Hmm. Let's get a new candidate. Ooh. It's the tag Tagfert. As a new ruler, it is customary to hold a Hansa tag when the League's members are invited to participate in the central meeting. The member committees have chosen Ratsundeborten, or envoys, to represent their local consensus on the issue at the Hansa tag. This Hansa tag brought up some issues with the trade, the economy, and the military. What a surprise. As the envoys haven't managed to reach a conclusion as to which of these matches we should address, and although the consensus building at the Hansa tag is supposed to follow the Low Saxon tradition of Einung, it is our duty to decide which matter to address, so we get... Until the death of Barnabas Engel, which also means until we re-elect him, if we do decide to re-elect him. 20% uh, trade efficiency and trade income. Build cost, advisor cost and ship costs. Or army tradition, navy tradition and regiment costs. Let's reform the economy. Yes, let's reform the economy. And while we're here, let's also get morale navies up. By morale navies up, I mean a level 2 diplomatic advisor. And yeah, we might as well go for a level 2 admin advisor. Just because, I guess. Tell you what, how are we doing for tech? Yeah, we're still miles ahead, so let's boost our stability. It costs a lot because of this lack of Republican tradition, but hey. Who cares, right? Right. Improve relations with Poland. Things are going well. We have a ridiculous amount of money. So early in the game. I like the Hansa. <laughs> I like having stupid amounts of money. It's good. Makes me feel good. Um, truce with Brunswick has ended. Can declare war on them if you wanted. Lunenburg, have you made any claims yet? No. Nope. It's fine. Mecklenburg, you still got allies? Yep. Sweden. Still don't want independence. Still loyal. Stop being loyal. Oh no, France has gone down to siege Portugal. Oh, that's wonderful. That's excellent. That's just absolutely great. Okay, so we don't have to worry about this war with France because Portugal's in it as well. I actually forgot to set the timer at the beginning of this episode by the looks of it. So I've no idea how long we've been going, but I feel like we've been going for quite a while. 20 minutes, probably, maybe. Um, so, let's end this episode here. And next time, we will keep seeing if we can go to war with Denmark. I mean, we can go to war with Denmark. I don't want to do that, though. I want them to lose their unions. Anyway, we'll see what happens next time. Till then, have a good one. Bye-bye.